This is an R tutorial. Got two minutes? Learn some statistical programming in R. It's easy, free, and fun. This tutorial how to output or export data tables into different formats, DBF, STATA, SPSS, and SAS files. This tutorial explains how to export data from R into an external file. If you want to import an external file into R, check out one of the importation tutorials like the one titled How to Read SPSS, STATA, and SAS Files into R. These commands require the foreign library. I'm just going to use an example data set, empty cars. Empty cars looks like this, but you can use any data frame that you want. First up to bat, the write.dbf function. The write.dbf function has two required parameters, the data frame in the first parameter and the character string containing the file you want to save in in the second parameter. When I run this, R creates a dbase formatted emptycars.dbf file in the appropriate directory. If I don't want to specify the directory before emptycars.dbf, it will write the file to my current working directory, which I can see using the getwd function, and I can change using the setwd function. Stereich 1, how to write a stata file. To write a stata file, use the exact same two parameters as the write.dbf function, except change the .dbf to .dta, first parameter data frame, second parameter output file .dta. Look in the output directory. You've got the DBF file and the DTA file there. Perfect! Strike 2! Okay, now let's export an SPSS file. We'll use the write.foreign function for this one, but it's going to have four parameters instead of two. Parameter 1, the data frame. Parameter 2, a .dat file that will contain the actual data set. Parameter 3, the .sps file that will contain an SPSS syntax or script that you will use later. Parameter 4, package equals quote all caps SPSS uh, close quote. And run it! Now look in the output uh, directory, and you've got this data file that's been written, and this SPS syntax file. Open this up in SPSS, and it will load in this data file automatically. Strike 3! Don't get sassy with me. You can use the write.foreign function to make SAS files the same way you made an SPSS file. Just change the script file to a .sas and the package to capital letters SAS, run it, look in your output directory, and now there's two new files, a .sas SAS importation script to import this data file. Now you've got the importation code for SAS to read the file right away. Knock it out of the park! The crowd goes wild! This has been a work of R.